So it's another week, it's another day, heading into yet another day that will lead eventually to more days, and then it will no longer be 2020. Uh, that's how time works. Uh, <laughs> I am uh, Chris, uh, Jazz Sequence on the internet. Uh, I am joined, as always, by uh, Gary, who's Binary Gary on the internet, and Allison, who's Allison Plus on the internet. Gary. Imaginary Gary? Did I say imaginary Gary? No, no but I, I did. Okay. I think you should have. Imaginary Gary. That that's a different we should we should create a bot that is imaginary <laughs> Gary that like that like <laughs> tweets out uh Gary isms. What what Gary isms could it tweet out? I think you should Probably get tacos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something about something about tacos, something about bananas, probably um and yeah. then like maybe, bananas yeah maybe like yeah, a did bananas you know? has been a recurring theme on this yeah. show because <laughs> they're always you within so? your eye they're yes. always within your eye shot yeah <laughs> yeah i mean maybe not so much anymore in the new house but yeah but yeah, oh, i actually bananas, have some right here in my drawer the see there you go <laughs> bananas <laughs> so so surprised by that like yeah. that's the thing how how are so you I just doing my drawer pull the banana out and how are you doing on the walking with gary podcast yeah. Yeah. Good That's question. Imaginary Gary. I um, feel like there's a lot of imaginary of Gary material that could be harvested from from that. I um, I am glad you asked. I took a walk on Thanksgiving Day, uh, in the evening after dinner, and figured I'd record an episode. And uh, 1.3 miles in, I realized like I hadn't actually gotten anywhere yet. And I turned the corner, and there was another dude out for a walk. And so I paused. And he walked on the other side of the road, and I walked on one side of the road, and we had like a conversation for a block about each other's Thanksgiving. And then I went back the way I came, and he went back the way he came. So I never got back to it, and that was it. That was the end of it. That's, that's the, probably interaction. That's probably was, a, a valid ending for. I mean, like our 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 show ends abruptly anyway. So I think like stopping in mid thought or like stopping before it was literally was like involved is I'm talking, talking, talking. I'm like, oh, hold on a second. Hey, you click, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and that's how it went. That would be perfect. Uh, I don't. I don't think. And I, I decided. That. Well, I decided to delete it actually after Aww. I listened to it because uh, I didn't find it very compelling. Uh, Wait, and you're I not found supposed to listen to it. You that's not the point. <laughs> the point okay. is to give us an imaginary Gary experience. Yes. yes. Okay. I will I'll give it another shot. I uh I even started off with uh uh hi. Welcome to Wandering in the Dark with Gary. Because <laughs> that's what I was doing. Working off my uh, Thanksgiving meal. Um yeah, I <laughs> The Gary weird. mumbling about mysticism or something. What if the other guy was recording a podcast? Yeah, too? that would be the best too. That would be awesome. And then you both that, that was guest stars. Yeah, that was totally what I was imagining too. Like he was recording a podcast, and you're you're wandering, and you're recording a podcast, and you're like, hey, and then you have a conversation about your podcasts. <laughs> oh man. Well, now I feel guilty. I didn't say, how you doing, dude? Hey, I'm, I'm recording a podcast. Do you want to be a guest? <laughs> do you want to be on this? What do you think yeah. about this? Um, uh, I recorded a thing recently. I haven't done anything with it, but I recorded a, a thing about uh, a D and D thing about the new D and D book. Um, but I, it needs like editing and shit, so I haven't I haven't gotten to that part of it. But I, I plan on doing that. I do. Can I address something from the opening? Sure. I I don't know if you, what, what I would have done if you were like nope. I guess I wouldn't have said anything. I was like, all right, well, cool. You asked for um, permission, so I. Uh, you said like, we're almost to the end of 2020. And um, I don't know, like a long time ago, there was a song on NPR that uh, they were looking for the perfect like New Year's Eve song. And they found this song, I need to find a link. I'll share it in the show notes. Um, it was a band singing the song, Thank God It's Over, which is a song this band wrote about the end of this year. 
And so I, 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 I often listen to that at the end of the year because I think it's funny. It's hysterical. Um, but also there was one year in particular where I was like, I can't wait for this year to end. Uh, it was 2015. Uh, and what happened after 2015 was Not, 2016 happened. Yeah. Right. And, and, and personally for me, like it was nothing changed. Like it was just a year. Uh, 2015 was, was personally brutal. 2016 was personally and publicly brutal. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I had this realization like, oh, actually I probably have a quote on it. Hold on. Is your realization that like we're on a downhill trend because that's not I feel like this is going into the like the transition between December 31st to January 1st is gonna be nothing. That's exactly which, what I was gonna say. Is it's which, arbitrary. I mean, it's just a it's just ink fair. on the wall or on paper hanging on your wall or that's this, fair. Or... But the difference between January 19th and January 20th might be different. <laughs> That might be a better time to celebrate the New Year. Yeah, that, that might actually. We need to postpone New Year's celebrations to January twentieth this year. Yeah, what what day of the week is the twentieth? Oh, I I no longer have a calendar bookmark on this computer. Uh, we'll get next January twentieth is a Wednesday. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, like my my acceptance of that matters. Okay. Yeah. Great. So get get ready. Put in your sick time early. Uh, so that you, so when you get, you know, go out partying uh, on January twentieth, then then you can come in hog home. Yeah, that's a lie because we're all going to have COVID and be sick because of COVID on January twenty first. Uh, so I'm not going out. I'm going to stay home and. Yeah, nobody's going to do anything ever. It's fine. Um. Yeah, the passage. So I had two things. One was I was going to quote, but it was actually just time is relatively meaningless. Okay, so that's not exactly the quote. And then the next. Relative, the next line I have relatively meaningless. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the next line that I have of, th of things that I wanted to save from a slack I'm leaving is um, at my funeral, please read WP Mel source code. This is kind of a grab bag <laughs> of things I want to hang on to. <laughs> Those were related. I mean, that was the best part is, is that they were related. Like it was like one message followed by another. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. Good show. <laughs> What's our topic today? <laughs> um, our topic today is pronking. Wait, what? what? Did you say pronking? No, pronking. Pronking. Oh. Or to pronk. P R O N K I N G. Pronking. But it's a verb. So. Um, man, so <laughs> you feel like you know it? <laughs> no, no. Well, Again, I, this is one I, where yeah. I was just like, they'll either know it or they don't. I mean, it, it sounds a lot like punking mm -hmm. or pranking um, or what? Prank, pranking. Pull a prank on someone, pranking. Yeah. Well, and that's, I mean, that's sort of the same. Similar to punking. Yeah. So it's in the same family. Same family. Conceptually. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, now that we've settled that. Um, I also, it also seems maybe it's, I don't know. It's, it, it also seems dirty. <laughs> like, like it's, 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 it almost like, it seems like it's a, a not safe for work topic. Well, the good news is many <laughs> like, of us are off the clock during this call. <laughs> I mean, like, like, <laughs> Like you would go to, to Pornhub and you would look up pronking. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do that right now. Don't. Please don't. <laughs> I'm not sure what you would find. Nothing. Uh, maybe, you want. <laughs> maybe, yeah, that's that is for certain. Um, maybe something to do with like uh, with like deer antlers, perhaps. Pronking. <laughs> that's a weird corner of the internet i love i love when when um like the only thing that i really ever know about pornhub is that every year they release statistics 
Um, oh my gosh, are we coming up on most, that? On most popular searches. I'm sure we are, because I'm sure they're going to do like a year-end thing by state, by like demographic, and it's <laughs> fascinating stuff. I love, I love a good data set. <laughs> it's the weirdest take on Spotify's year-end review that I <laughs> have ever heard of. Like I, I think, yeah, what is everybody's song of the year? Mine totally makes sense. <laughs> I don't know how about how so okay let's educate Gary how do I find this out do you uh, use Spotify for I do and okay. it should be up in your face yeah and you should have gotten like an email about it I, just like I do oh maybe I send Spotify email to spam but like when I open Spotify because I mean what are they gonna tell me like it's music stop leave me alone like unless if you you're like use it on device. your on your mobile device um it'll come up in a oh, banner yeah I'll top. do the whole thing yeah yeah I have like a no no, nope. and, and it applies to like free accounts too, right? Or only paid accounts? No, all accounts. Free accounts too, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I missed it somehow. I don't know. There's a website. There's a website you can go to. Um, I'm sure I can find the URL. And that's on There's the a, internet somewhere? Yeah, on the internet. There's a website on the internet um, where you can go to and it does the same thing. Um, it does your, okay. you know, just in a browser. I'm not gonna look now. Uh, I am gonna look now. I wanna know. <laughs> there was maybe, 0.1 seconds in that as you were finishing the sentence <laughs> i'm not gonna look your hands were already going to go look <laughs> um anyway my top song for the year is reasons i drank by alanis morissette <laughs> that's a uh, that's a good that's a good <laughs> i feel like it's a good 2020 yeah good memory. drop yeah um mine my Spotify year in review has been skewed the last two years because mm -hmm. of how I use Spotify for soundtracking for D and D or other games that I'm that I'm running. Mm -hmm. um, because I and so like since and so it, like I have these huge playlists uh, for different things, um, like different in game things. Like I have a suspense playlist and a fight playlist and a you know church cleric playlist and that sort of thing um so like my like on repeat is like whatever playlist was <laughs> was yeah. being played so like i think like, this year is more suspense hours of... <laughs> yeah right um or like and like the fight things make a make several appearances so yeah my uh my top artist i was in in the top 0.1 percent of listeners for the artist gothic storm which uh, does like soundtracky music, um, just really like epic, big, like uh, soundtracky like music, swelling, like yeah, 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 a, a varying genres, but yeah, like yeah, just really big, just, like big epic things, setting the scene for yeah. sure. Uh, which is honestly the the I, the funny thing about that is that that particular artist was suggested. Like I heard about that from my son, and he heard about that from his friend. So this is coming like second degree from like a like a 14 year old yeah. <laughs> this is amazing the recommendation i i haven't been excited about this any playlists i think as much as i'm about this one like ever in my life this What's is your how playlist? did i not know this this is i it's just all songs i i i i, I know that's that's, that's the <laughs> point that's that, the that point, is Gary. literally all your literally the point uh the first uh number one is the muse by the wood brothers hmm. So, uh, a lot of mandolin orange on there, a lot of trampled by turtles. Yeah. They've yeah. got a good banjo, trampled by turtles. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, Peter I need brothers. to listen to more other things in order to like balance the scales a bit. Um, I do I wish, did... I know other people have said this, I do wish you could like exclude certain things because also like meditation music or if you're listening yeah. to something to go to sleep, right. you're gonna have like hours of like waves or something. Yeah. And, like... Right, yeah. I did get um, there. So, so this year, I don't know that I noticed this in previous years, but this year they have a playlist that they build called Mist Hits. Um, and this is like stuff that is, I guess, similar to the stuff that is in your rotation in your 2020 list, but is not in your 2020 list, like something different, like, oh. rec like recommendations. And so one of the things, and so a lot of, for me, again, like the entire playlist is mostly instrumental uh, soundtrack music for various things. But there's one thing in there that I, and I was like listening to it to like, 
see if there's anything I should add to any of my playlists. But there's one thing in there uh, that was uh, by a band called The Ocean. And The Ocean is a progressive metal band. Uh, mm -hmm. And as far as I can tell, all of their albums and songs are about like various like prehistoric eras. Like 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 dinosaurs walking the, the yeah. earth eras and and it's just and like it's fascinating and it's like the the song that was in the playlist was like this instrument instrumental song which is really cool and I like yeah yep, that's a check and then I started listening to more of their stuff and there's like like it's screamo like metal metal with like progressive elements like you know thematic melodic yeah but like it's really interesting. I don't know what they're saying. I have no idea, but it's really interesting to imagine somebody doing like screamo, like death metal style uh, vocals about like dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's just a, just a, a phenomenal concept. I'm I like, I'm that's... kind of a little kid when I was young and I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so you were I had to turn off my voice. screens. Yeah. Because I was getting so distracted by this conversation and getting sucked into Spotify, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now I'm focused again. No longer distracted. Uh, so yeah. pronking. Uh, pronking. Pronking is a search query on uh, Pornhub. I think that it was a uh, the follow up to planking. Planking, planking. And then pronking. So so if you so if it's different than planking, what would pronking be? Well, planking was obviously laying face down. Pronking was on your back. So same thing, just facing the Pronking other direction. is like that. Okay. Just yeah. lying down. <laughs> yes. They're like holding. I, I don't think that's true. Suspending oh, yourself off the ground, right? They're not just like not just like lying on your back on the ground. Right, like planking. You always did it like stupid places. Oh, like, I, oh see, we I see. I was thinking doing planking on planks. a table. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. doing planks, but planking is a different thing than doing a plank, right? Okay. Got right, it. planking was like I lay face down on a table at McDonald's. Right. So and like, they... so like planking is the pronking is the opposite. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I, I got it. I'm with Maybe you. you put the thing on top of you. I don't know. <laughs> put the thing on top. Of you. Like planking, people go like top of the mountain and plank. You know, they'd like. Right. So like whatever. Pronk, like maybe pronking, you have to like. Pronking would be you're underneath the park bench. You're, yeah. You're, put the picnic table yeah. on top of So you can immediately see why it wasn't anywhere nearly as popular. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Super, yeah, less hygienic than most things. Um, is it not a sport? Like, like a pronking involving, championship? Yeah, like shopping carts downhill. The pronking champion of. <laughs> of the United States, the, the U.S. Is that what you open. do? That's what I do when I leave the grocery store. I step on the back of the cart and pronk my way to the van. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who doesn't? Um, the I mean, gold could, metal pronker. Could, it, yeah, it could be. Yeah, would, would pronk, pronking feels like it would be some sort of a one-on-one. -on -one I, I, I don't know what that means. I, I only am saying that it'd be a one-on-one -on -one, like tournament style thing uh, because I've been watching the Queen's Gambit. And now I've got like. <laughs> Are no, you playing that's the chess only now? thing I think. I, no, well, no, hell no. Really? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I start. I, I've always sort of dabbled on my phone, uh, playing chess, and never really been good at. It. And then that, that show came on, and now I play like, you know, a lot more games at a time than I used to. And 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 are you good? No, not yeah. particularly. No, yeah. no. I mean, sub one thousand rating for sure. <laughs> it, it 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 vacillates like. Uh, I use the chess.com app and when you join, I think you're like defaulted to 400. Um, so I'm somewhere between like the mid 500s and like 800, like up and down, depending on how much attention I'm paying to it. Sometimes I do things and I'm like, well, that was dumb, but you can't undo it. So, you know, some games I kind of give away in a hurry. And... Do you, do you play against human beings? I guess you play against human beings. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, correspondence. So like you make a move and then they have like 14 days to make a move and uh, if I were really, um, I guess if we were like really into it, like I would pay attention to like what their like habits were and maybe respond. But I just like the the brain puzzle, of, like looking at it and going like, what's what's like the best move here? And then sometimes I come back and I'm like, why the heck did I do that? Like in my head, I have like a two or three move chain I was going to, I was starting to set up, but I don't take notes or anything on it. So like, you know, with fourteen day correspondence, if they come back ten days later, make a move. I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? Like, and you know, it, I don't know. I like it. I like it. No, I have not. I have not started playing chess. Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should get it on my phone. I haven't. I haven't like 
I don't know. I've always had like a a, a brain, like, like there there's there's a barrier in my brain that I can't get past. Like there's a, just a lock that like, uh, like chess is just like beyond this barrier that like, in terms of wrapping my head around something. Like I That's get, like, I get like planning several moves ahead. I get like all the movements of the pieces. I get like you know, yeah. but like the strategy and like how you can manipulate the board that stuff is totally lost on me and it's not like i don't get those things in other games like you know that's I play, what i was about to I say like, it's not like you're all the time yeah. it's not like i'm i don't understand like strategy and planning ahead and, and like but like chess in particular i just i don't it's just a weird a weird block how do you deal with how do you deal with rubik's cube how do you are you horribly okay horrible oh. horrible horrible at rubik's cube yeah but isn't the game with the rubik's cube like like, don't people generally just like learn the patterns and then figure, and then like, like analyze the block and then use the applied patterns to make it happen? Or, but I mean, that's what chess is. So the two are alike in my mind. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, I have like, that's, that's interesting. Cause like, I have absolutely zero interest in Rubik's Cube. Like, I look at it like, well, I think, yeah, it's I think that's what chess is. Maybe I'm wrong. I have a lot of opinions on chess, but I'm not a good chess yeah. player. So maybe I'm not the best person. I think it's I think it's interesting because because of the other person element. Whereas in Rubik's cube, it's like here is a static thing. There's a formula you can apply to solve it. I have like no interest in that. Like that's right. seems like busy work. But like chess, like oh, I didn't anticipate that thing that person did, and that means that I need to do something different than what I was planning on. Or that's I forgot true. why I, mean, I did you that. You need to shift yeah. your pattern or your strategy. But it's still you're then st embarking on a new path like a new like all the chess moves they've all been done like it's not yeah. like yeah that's the thing that i find it so we're about halfway th we're about halfway through the series and that's the thing that i find like both fascinating and the thing that i think intimidated me the most when i because i did for a period of time like i wanted to learn and i started like getting like chess books as a kid to sort of like figure out like what how you do it and the the idea that like Oh, they're doing the Sicilian. Oh no, it's the closed Sicilian. Oh, now she's using the the such and such. like like I what though I how I, yeah do, do, do people think about those things? Like do they think oh yes. he did he did the Versace, so I'm gonna do the the uh, yes the absolutely people do the Angorian and, riposte like <laughs> and I don't think that you need to need to like pay attention to any of that stuff to enjoy it though like. I'm like, going to compare uh, it to another sport now and yes. be like, you know, all Bonking. the names of the moves for soccer, but like, you can still do all that stuff without knowing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, it's like awesome if you do know, and if you're coaching someone, it certainly helps, but like, I don't know. like I everything, it's just a shorthand. Like you can't just say like, do this piece here and that piece there and that piece there. And if they do this, mm -hmm. do this, like it's easier to say whatever it's called. I mean, Basically, I, I, I've, just, I've summed up all sports as like the exact same thing. And like, I mean, I, I, <laughs> yeah, got, I think that's absolutely fair. Yes. I got in my in my learning about chess far enough to understand that the spaces on the board have names and that you can say like, you know, King's Pawn five or something. And that means a yeah. thing that is a, that is as far as my education went. You're like tap out. No, nope. yeah, that's like once we were, we were at that point, like, OK, that's that's all my brain can handle. There are people that are so comfortable with that language that they can play it. Well, I guess partially in that show, right? Mm -hmm. That they can see the board in their head and know where the where the threats are and where the where they can attack. Um, yeah, but like my my phone. That's, let's that's, see. That's the whole part that I don't that that, that that there's the block in my brain is like attacking. Like that there is a that there is like a whole concept of like doing a thing, like having a plan and making it work, and like like you know like. Like, I don't even, like, I'm just, like, moving the stuff on the board and trying to react to, like, like, I can't see, like, I don't. <laughs> okay, so reaction My phone... defensive versus on the attack aggressive. Yeah, I guess. I don't have, like, alerts turned on that, like, you know, <laughs> vibrate or ding or anything, but it does, like, put, like, a little banner up on the screen if my phone is unlocked, because uh, that's the option I have turned on. And it says, like, you know, this person did the following. Mm -hmm. And, like, I don't know, two times out of 17, I know what that means <laughs> these days but like i can do this thing about other games it's just yeah i don't i don't know what my yeah. problem is it's weird yeah, i get it yeah because yeah. i consider you a very strategic pattern oriented person well the really interesting thing about me and board games 
um, is that I play a lot of them. Um, and new new games, like games when we get and we haven't played them through a bunch of times, I tend to do better at than the rest of the people playing. But once we've sort of settled in and we're more used to the rules and whatever, Aaron kicks the crap out of me nine times out of ten um, in most games. There's some games that I that I will do better than her in, very specific games, um, one of which I can't think of right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they exist. I'm sure they exist. But like after you get sort of, after you get past that sort of learning curve, um, yeah, yeah. like like I, I do well on, on the learning curve, but like there's a certain part where I plateau and like she just like zhunk, goes goes past me like almost every single time. Mm. which is really which is which is an interesting thing i think about to, like about myself like like that there's like i'm good at like the initial onboarding and then it's just like the long-term <laughs> strategy i just like <laughs> just like pronking i mean like when i first started pronking uh i was i was in you know the the low 1000s um, you know, in terms of my rating, um, but but now, like you know, now that everybody's pronking, uh, you know, they've all passed me up. They're all in like the the two thousands. I uh, do we confirm that it's it's really just one word? It's not two. It's words. not prom king. It's, it's not. Prom. Prom. I know that. But... Okay, and it's not sure Ron it's like king, king, like a shrimp royalty. It's not that either. Prawn. <laughs> the king of prawns. I mean, oh. there's king crabs. Why couldn't there be king prawns? Why not? So, so there's wait. There's a shellfish joke there somewhere. I just so so if, if, if there's pronking, which is the king of prawns, then then the king crab would be crab king. Crab, crab, yeah, I crab think... king. Crab king. Right. Uh, which is a totally different sport, um, and also a very different Pornhub search. <laughs> well, that was alarming. Did anybody else get a meeting alert this time? Yes. Well, because you're the host technically now, I think. Oh, maybe he is. I don't know. What can I do as host? How can we find out? Uh, I'm recording. It's a breakout room. I'll see y'all later. Let's, let's not. Yeah, you can do breakout <laughs> rooms. That's true. <laughs> Three breakout rooms. We're on your own. Like, just, who just record that? It's basically what we're suggesting you do with your podcast, though. It's true. It's a breakout room. Yeah, that's valid. I get it. We really appreciate the work you've done here. Maybe you could do a bit more on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Some siloed, you know, over there. <laughs> so what is what is pronking? Is the time? I mean, we've got the alert, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm not connecting the dots. Uh, okay, so <laughs> pranking uh, is a behavior of quadrupeds, particularly gazelles or antelopes, in which they spring into the air and lift all four feet off the ground simultaneously. Oh, it's oh. it's a... It's, uh... Yeah, exactly. And for those of you listening... <laughs> Chris just imitated it. Worth the tune in. Chris just <laughs> jumped think... straight up in the air <laughs> one time. Chris pronked. <laughs> um, um, it's also called pronging or stotting, which I think are less exciting than pronking. Um, to be fair, though, had you used either one of those, I still wouldn't have gotten it. So yeah, yeah. And um, they're not quite sure. Basically, like I don't know, scientists aren't exactly sure why they do it. Um, they're basically the assumption is that they do it to basically show to predators that they're like, I'm really hard to catch. Don't even try. <laughs> So why I feel like I... somewhere there has to be a scientist at a party going like, what if, what if they're just doing it because it's fun? Yeah, hey, right. y'all, I'm serious. Like, folks, like, what if they're only doing it because it's fun? They're just basically Maybe? like, trampoline. <laughs> All the other scientists are like, no, stop. Stop, scientist. <laughs> so why did I immediately assume that it had to do with some sort of antlered mammal? I know. Like, I thought that was interesting because I was just like, oh, we're on an interesting tangent here. And I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, because that guess, was like, my antler prongs. Yeah, well, that's that's where my brain went because of yeah. because pronging, and so like I was thinking prongs and like yeah, uh, but like not prongs like like fork prongs, yeah. like it was definitely antlers. Yeah, that's 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 I don't know. 
Uh, the word itself comes from an Afrikaans verb, pronk, which means show off or strut. Mm. That's, That's cool. where we get prance from. Mm. Pronk. Mm. Um, I so that prance I'm showing off. So now I'm thinking associated that, that with it. Now I'm thinking that the Pornhub uh, search results for pronking would probably involve um, either the wearing of antlers. <laughs> like kind of like butting people or just like weird people jumping up and down that just puts people just jumping up and down yeah that would probably be the best thing that it could possibly be for everybody <laughs> <laughs> for all of yeah them. for everybody involved i just feel like that's the simplest everybody answer. watching everybody performing yeah that's just that's just let's just leave it at that it i don't think comfortably awesome questions I there's there's one. And Nick, can I tell you why this makes me uncomfortable? Yes. Last yeah. year, we had a headband with antlers on it that you would throw rings at, like as a <laughs> holiday <laughs> game. And now you're and now you're, you're seeing that in 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 relation to a. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna have to lose that important. tie on antler set. Is what yep. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. I'm gonna have to I'm matriculate to, have to the spoil that for you forever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, we do have I, one. Uh, <clears throat> it was a day before Thanksgiving, uh, Allison question. Day before American Thanksgiving, um, which is uh, which golden Wait, girl... is Canada no longer part of North America? No. We have our, a different Thanksgiving day. Yeah. I know, but but I understand. But if you say American, you're encompassing like a pretty broad swath of land in two hemispheres. Sure, okay, but American, yes, okay. I'm being, I'm being Mexicans United States. I don't think want to be grouped in. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I'm being United Statesist. <laughs> yeah. Um, now- You're USians. Right, USians. Uh, right, What's so the question, the question is, <laughs> You know, the people from the infected folks. Which, exactly. Which golden girl do you most identify with? Do you not know the golden girls, Gary? Come on. I mean, I, not well enough to name them. <laughs> yeah, it's been, yeah. Like, it's been decades since I've watched it because I used to watch it with my grandmother when it was actually on TV. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I don't remember the character names as much, but the oldest of the Golden Girls, uh, I think, is the one that I enjoyed watching the most. Oh, wow. um, mostly because she was super, like, sarcastic and, and, I, and bitter. Were there three or four of them? There, there were four. Four. Okay. One of them. One of them was one of the characters' mothers. I do remember one as being extremely sarcastic. Yeah, and that, and and like her daughter is also fairly sarcastic as well. But like, she was like, like, yeah. I'm sad I can't answer. This. And then there's Betty White, who who was amazing, but also kind of like, like Betty White was like the airheady, like like. We're not entirely sure if she's all there, sort of uh, character. She's I guess still alive, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there's not there was, a good way to ask that. And then there was like Blanche. Blanche. Blanche is the other Hoof one, way. right? She was the one yep. that was like uh, often like uh, going out on dates with all the the men at the their like they were like in a retirement community or something, right? My. They were kind of yeah. They lived somewhere in Florida. Yeah. So it was I like, guess all, oh, really? all of Florida is basically a retirement community. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's <laughs> so it. Doesn't even matter. I I always thought they were just like all in the same house, but. Well, they were all in the same house, but I think they're in just a regular community because I think the threat was always to send her mom to a place mm. called Shady Pines. Um, <laughs> this was an actual <laughs> retirement community. I would venture to guess there are hundreds of Shady Pines. I know that there are some in, like San Diego has them, I know. Um, from wow. <laughs> they, so many are named for like, like I worked at Coral Oaks when I was uh, in high school which was a retirement home. And I worked uh, wait staff in the dining room, one of the dining rooms. Oh, nice. Shady Not Pines. really. No, it wasn't nice at no. all. <laughs> Shady Maybe Pines just sounds, just sounds like, you know, like uh, a, 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 a place in like a, a Friday the 13th movie, like, you know, 
you're going off in like the sketchy forest. There's you like it's the Shady Pines camp. Shady Pines. Yeah. <laughs> it's super super sketch. There was at Coral Oaks. There was the Evergreen Party every year, which was where, as white staff, we were always wearing um, tuxedo shirts, but we had to wear a jacket to serve, and the residents all got really dressed up. And there was often a carved swan. I'm not sure why, an ice swan. And at the end of the night during cleanup, generally the swan would uh, get chucked into the swimming pool from the third or fourth floor um, because some of the staff would join the residents in celebrating. I was too young to, to drink, but I did one year jump into the pool with the swan. Late from December. the third or fourth floor? No, 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 okay. no. Just from the side of the pool. <laughs> to join the swan. Just to join the yes. swan in the pool. Yeah, in my, in my tuck shirt, yep. The uh, the head chef would sit like out there and carve some kind of beast and uh, roast beast, and he 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 would have a flask with him and was just like slowly getting more and more hammered through the night. It was fantastic. It was uh it was like the one time of year that that place was um, really let loose. It was it was wild. I had, I think I was only there for two or three years, but it was uh, a long it was something. I mean, it was a high school job, so it was probably like 15 hours a week or something stupid. Oh, and still. I'm sure I took a lot of time off. It was, I mean, it was like, it was, it was a place. It was fine. I kept gas in the car, barely. Yeah, my, <laughs> barely. My, my high school job was working at the grocery store, so. Yeah, I had that one for a while. And then I was a solder monkey for a while. And I can't remember, honestly, which one. I'm pretty sure I did the soldering stuff first. And it just didn't pay well enough before mm. I to Coral Oaks and moved up in the world. Moved up in the world to Coral Oaks. Yeah. The salad bar one year, someone, not during the Evergreen Party, just in general, after cleanup, someone uh, <laughs> uh, laid down in the salad bar and covered themselves up with a, uh, like a tablecloth so that they were locked in when everybody else left. And then they got out of the salad bar and I guess raided the kitchen and stole some ice cream and lost their job. Um, <laughs> It doesn't feel <laughs> Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz. Thank you.